E3 is around the corner, guys, and a loads of information is coming out right before E3 season. Or not E3 season? I'm not too sure. Or is it like Summer Game Fest? Please, Jeff Keighley, please tell us what this season of gaming news is going to be called in the future. But besides that, welcome to HG News. I'm your host for today, Steven, where we surf the web so that you don't have to. And let's just get right into all the juicy video game news that happened over the week. Did you finish Jedi Survivor and thought, man, do I need more Star Wars games in my life? Well, you're in luck and you might not have to wait too long for one either. According to insider sources from Kotaku, Ubisoft's first Star Wars game could be released within the next year, most likely March 2024. The game was already announced to be an open world title back in 2021, and Ubisoft is no stranger for open world epics. I mean, they pretty much standardized the genre with tropes such as scaling towers to reveal more of your map being used in different games nowadays. Reports show that the game might have an interplanetary mechanic, so you're basically jumping from planet to planet. So I'm hoping I can finally see if I'm a better pilot than Han. The possibility of successfully navigating an asteroid field is approximately 3,720 to 1. Never tell me the opposite. The game is currently known internally as Project Helix, being developed by Massive Entertainment, a subsidiary of Ubisoft. The studio is mostly known for their works in the Division 1 and 2, although the studio's creative director, Julian Gerardi, already stated that the series is going to be a totally different experience than the kind of games Massive Entertainment has released in the past. Ubisoft is also needing this game to be a real big hit. In the last year, Ubisoft has only really released two major titles, Mario Rabbids, Spark of Hope, and Just Dance 2023, which is probably why they're pushing hard to have this game be released within the next fiscal year. According to rumors, the game is having a bit of a rocky start and this pressure of a deadline could possibly hurt the studio more than anything. My prediction for this E3 season is that we're going to see a really impressive cinematic trailer and hype a lot of people up, but my thoughts go out to the game devs that has to make this hype a reality. More on this story as we hear more. Final Fantasy 16 is around the corner, but journalists had the opportunity to preview the game over the weekend. According to gamers who previewed the game, it mostly focused on their combat mechanics. And what did they say about it? It's good. The combat looks good. I mean, look at it. It looks fantastic. The game is currently developed by Naoki Yoshida, also known as Yoshi P Online, who was the beloved director for Final Fantasy 14 and what fans call him the main reason the game is what it is today. And now he is going to bring that same passion to this new Final Fantasy title. Him, along with former Devil May Cry 5 and Marvel vs. Capcom 2 combat director Ryota Suzuki, are creating some of the most stylish combat the series has ever seen. Hopefully, since this is the series' first mature rated title, the studio won't hold back on their punches and deliver a spectacular experience both new and recurring fans can't wait to get their hands on. In other news, a little title known as Zelda Tears of the Kingdom released a little over a week ago. And not only are people calling it the greatest game of all time, it broke some sales records to back this up. While it's only on its first weekend, in the UK, Zelda is already breaking yearly records, having the biggest physical release to date, outselling the previous records held by Hogwarts Legacy by a staggering 54%. According to Christopher Dring of GameIndustry.biz, Zelda Tears of the Kingdom is already the UK's biggest Nintendo release to date, only behind Wii Fit, you know, the game that your grandma still plays to this day. And if that's not enough, Tears of the Kingdom already outsold previous Zelda titles such as Skyward Sword, The Link Between Worlds, and Wind Waker, making it the fourth highest earning Zelda game behind Ocarina of Time, Twilight Princess, and Breath of the Wild. And remember, this is just in its first weekend. All these numbers are just from the physical release in the UK. Nintendo normally doesn't release eShop numbers, but one could imagine this number much higher due to so many people purchasing digital copies nowadays, hitting almost near perfect scores all across video game media outlets, sitting at a very impressive 96 on Metacritic. That being said, I feel like most people aren't really playing the game either. There's a whole trend going around online where People are using the in-game using and building mechanics to create crazy vehicles to help you traverse Hyrule with style, which is fun. Or you can be like me and grab a bunch of those cute Koroks together and launch them straight into space until they blow up. Let me know what you guys think. Are you excited for a brand new Star Wars adventure, but skeptical Ubisoft will pull it off? Or are you hyped for this new Final Fantasy game, but miss the old JRPG games of the past? please put your comments down below. I would love to hear what you guys think. And if you like this and want to see more, please hit that like and subscribe button. It really helps a ton. I might give you a cookie for it. I'm Steven with HNG News and don't forget to drink water.